Welcome tech enthusiasts. Are you ready to unlock the true potential of your Android device? In this exciting video, I'll guide you through the step-by-step -step process of installing Debian with Genome Desktop on your Android phone or tablet. Whether you're a Linux enthusiast or simply curious about exploring new possibilities, this tutorial is for you. So let's jump right in. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications to stay updated with our latest tech tutorials. Let's get into the video. So the first thing to do is to update Tamox packages. Do that with the pkg update command. And after updating Tamox packages, we're going to install pyroot distro. Install pyroot distro with the command pkg install pyroot distro. Okay. Once Pirate Distro is installed, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install Debian. To install Debian, just use the simple command Pirate Distro install Debian. Alright? Now that Debian has been installed, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a login command that we're going to be using to log into Debian. We're not going to use the default Pirate Distro login Debian, okay? We're not going to use that. We're going to create a shortcut command that we're going to be using to log in, okay? And it is important to do this. So you do that with the command echo pirut distro <coughs> login debian. Pirut distro login debian. Then you're going to add this command to the front of that command, okay? Then we're going to save this command to the bin folder. To do that, we're going to save this to the prefix forward slash bin directory, okay? So dollar prefix forward slash bin then forward slash the name of the file which is debian we're just going to name it debian okay then you're going to click on enter and we're going to give this command executable permission you're going to do that with the ch mode plus x command okay ch mode plus x okay and you're going to click on enter and that command has given it executable permission so from now on whenever you want to log into debian just use the simple command debian okay when you're logged into Debian, the very first thing we're going to do is to update our repos, of course. So you're going to do that with the apt update command. And then we're going to install the necessary packages for Genome, which is the Genome Shell, the Genome Tweaks. And then we're going to install Tiger VNC, which is, of course, the package that allows us to connect to VNC. We're going to install DBoss. And then we're going to install Gedit, all right? And another important package to install is the shell extension. And then we're going to install Genome Terminal. And um, you're going to click on enter. And all of that is going to, you know, install. Now that the installation is finished, before proceeding to connecting to VNC, I want to show you something. So I want to change the color of this local host because it doesn't really look professional, you know. So to do that, we're going to remove the bash RC file. After removing the bash RC file, then we're going to copy another bash rc file from the etc forward slash scale directory okay we're going to copy it and we're going to copy it to our home directory so as you can see you're going to do that with this command and um now you're going to exit and then you're going to log into debian again okay and as you can see the color of our root um, at localhost has changed from white to green so this is preferable the next thing we're going to do now is um, we're going to make a VNC script, okay, to connect to VNC server. To do that, type the command make dir.vnc and then inside the VNC directory, we're going to create a startup script for VNC server. So to do that, you're just going to type the command nano.vnc forward slash x startup. The name of the script is going to be x startup, okay? Then you're going to paste this, which I'm going to be pasting in my blog. You're going to check it out from my blog. You're going to paste this in that script. Then you're going to exit and you're going to give that script executable permission with the ch mode plus x command, okay? And yeah, this is it. So the next thing we're going to do now is we're just going to connect to VNC server. To do that, just type the command VNC server, okay? You will be required to enter a password, create a password you can easily remember, verify that password, and, you know, continue. So that is it. Now that you have created um, your VNC server, open your NetHunter application. I prefer the NetHunter application. Some uses VNC viewer, but I prefer the NetHunter application. Set your connection type to basic VNC. Set your VNC connection settings to localhost1, okay? The VNC server name is going to be localhost then in the other side, the right-hand side here, 
is going to be one okay which is the local host one that we connected our vnc to and down here as you can see it says vnc password you're going to use the password you created in the vnc earlier and you're going to make sure you click on this skip for net on targets to remember the password and you're going to click on connect and as you can see we are now logged into our debian genome desktop okay so now um, i want to add the doc to the home screen to do that you're going to you know click on activities click on the application and click on extensions now that the extension window is open you're just going to turn on dash to dock and as you can see the dock is now on so if you want to make some changes to your dock you can just click on the settings icon there and you know you're going to make some changes but me i prefer it this way so i'm not going to make any change at all i'm just going to leave it the way it is but if you want to make some changes for some of you that want it you know to be full screen you can make your changes here okay so i just wanted to show you this window so that you know how to make changes if you want to make changes if you want the dog to be at the right bottom left top you know you can change it from here so the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to add some app applications to the dock okay so you're going to click on the dock icon of course which is the launcher icon then you're going to add you're going to right click on the app you want to add to the dock and click on add to favorites and um, add to favorite as you can see both terminal and the text editors has been you know add to favorite and another thing that is missing here is Firefox, you know, Firefox browser. I forgot to install it earlier. So to install Firefox, launch your terminal and type the command apt install Firefox ESR, okay? ESR. And you're going to click on enter or dash Y. You're going to click on enter and um, Firefox is going to install once the installation of firefox is finished click on your application launcher again and you're going to find firefox in, you know in the list of the applications so you can just easily add it to your favorite applications to make it appear in the dock okay as you can see firefox has been added to the dock so i'm just going to shift firefox up i'm going to move it up so that it is going to be above the dock and as you can see this is it so this is how you install debian with the genome desktop on your android device um i previously made a video on ubuntu you, you can check that out i'm going to drop the link to the video in the description below and always remember to kill your vnc server okay kill it to the vnc server i found q ratio one command okay and now you can exit so this is basically how you just do it thanks for watching Please let me know in the comment section below if you, you know, encountered any error in this video or you need help with anything regarding this video or any other video that I've made. And if you found this video helpful, make sure you click the subscribe button and turn on bell notifications to be notified whenever we upload new videos. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.